Okay, four cylinders, one of the most common type of an engine, but also can be very interesting and that's why we are here to talk about it. I'm Vizio Racer and welcome to this video. But first, shout out to Fazocello for sponsoring this video. They are making very nice minimalistic wallets. You should check them out. Starting this list with a Detroit Diesel 471 and you already know Detroit Diesels, they are most famous for their two-stroke engines and this is a four-cylinder two-stroke engine naturally aspirated or could be turbocharged. It is 800 kg so it is pretty heavy but being considered a high-speed diesel engine that has four exhaust valves overhead it is very good for medium trucks, buses, construction or power generating applications. The turbo variant was about 25% more powerful, like 50 horsepower, with a minimal weight ballast. one coming Detroit DD5 which is kinda a successor to the 471 and this DD5 is about 35% lighter with a similar performance. It is also used in medium trucks and buses and the reviewers really like this engine for its crisp throttle response and decent performance. It has an optional engine brake and should last at least 400,000 miles of service. This next one comes from Kubota, Japan, which they are on the business for 130 years right now, since 1890. And this 6.1 liter is their largest engine. And it is a four cylinder with a twin stage turbocharging DPF and EGR systems. The tractor it powers has two gearboxes, one 8 speed and the other one is 3 speed, so in combination there are 24 gears and it can crawl from 0.2 km power up to 39, so it is pretty useful. Detroit has another engine on this list and it is Series 50, which is derived from Series 60, a six-cylinder engine. This one being a four-cylinder has cast iron heads from John Deere. It has a variable geometry turbo and can run on diesel, CNG or LPG. It is a major bus engine, but its rivals are often five- or six-cylinder engines. <laughs> The Blitzen Benz was produced for one single goal to break a land speed record. Its engine was an enlarged 15.1 liter and then bumped up from 150 up to 200 horsepower at 1600 rpm, 1650 rpm being its red line. The car weighs 450 kilograms and the engine is basically a third of that. It is aerodynamic and exceeded 200 km per hour in 1909. I 
enjoy making this video for you, so if you are enjoying watching them, please like it and subscribe. Only slightly larger, but for very different purpose, build is Altman Taylor, which is a tractor engine, also a four cylinder, but has 80 horsepower. For a 1900 tractor, it is very powerful. It was built in Ohio and has one forward gear and one reverse. The Blitzen Benz was surpassed by the Fiat S76, and you know the S76. It is also a very large inline four that has three spark plugs, a four-speed gearbox, and a chain drive. It also has rigid axles and leaf springs. It has a larger, more powerful, more rev-happy, but also heavier engine than the Blitzen Benz. It had 300 horsepower at 1900 rpm and only two examples were built. The last and very large engine is the Fairbanks Moors 32D, which was built in various cylinder numbers, but this one was a four cylinder with a crossplane crankshaft. It was a two stroke diesel engine with valveless system. Its operating rev range was from 257 up to 360 rpm, and it was built in two different cylinder sizes 12 by 15 and 14 by 17 inch. In full load, it uses about 50 liters per hour, and it is started by air by a pressure of 17 bar. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and submit in the comment section what you would like to see next. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers!